Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the Shure Beta 87C. Now, in earlier blogs, we discussed the Shure SM87 and the Beta 87A. Uh, so what in the world is it with this 87C? Well, first let's talk about the similarities between the 87A and the 87C. Both are identical in physical appearance, uh, and they both have an integrated pop filter and a hardened steel mesh grill. They're both condenser microphones, so they require fandom power from either a console or preamp. Both have a frequency range of 50 to 20,000 hertz and an identical frequency response. Both have the same dynamic range with their max SPL being right around 140 dB, give or take a decibel. The 87A has a super cardioid pickup pattern and the 87C has a cardioid pickup pattern. This makes it a little bit easier to remember the difference too. Just think, C is for cardioid. Now, why did they come up with this? I'm glad you asked. The 87C is perfect for the onstage performance where in-ear monitors, or IEMs for short, is being used. Just like our AKG IVM 4500s at MikeReynolds.com. Now, the 87C produces a warm sound first off, but it also picks up sources from the side, but not the rear. This gives the performer a natural feel in their ear mix. So this mic is great for rear rejection, so combining it with an IEM system makes for tremendous gain before feedback, since you might not be fighting a minefield full of stage monitors. The Shure Beta 87C is more tailored to the onstage use more than anything else. It has a rugged build so they can also withstand the rigors of being on tour. Now, if you're gearing up for a live performance and you want the most out of your mics and mixes, at MikeReynolds.com, you can rent our AKG IVM 4500 in-ear monitor system at $70 per channel for three days, and we'll throw in a Shure Beta 87C for only 25 bucks. Well, that wraps it up on the Beta 87C. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com. <laughs>